Hi, this is David from Mesh IT. Today we're going to be looking at improving the CPU performance on the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 2 or the X1 Extreme Gen 2. Now in order to do this, the first thing we're going to be doing is downloading ThrottleStop. I'm going to put the link down in the comment section below. So in download and install ThrottleStop and what we're going to be doing now is just opening it once it's extracted and leave it running so that we can take a look at what the temperatures are like before we make any modifications. Now this P1 uh, runs pretty well with just the CPU going but it will throttle back once the temperatures hit about 97 degrees. Now the fan isn't overly loud which is quite a nice feature on this P1 series. So it, in order to keep the fans at this sort of uh, noise level and the temperatures as they are but giving us a little bit more performance what we're going to do is we're going to undervolt this CPU with throttle stop and we're going to also um, take away the Lenovo uh, throttling service. Now what this will do is they have their own service that will throttle the CPU back um, as per Lenovo's spec but if we by taking that away we can increase the TDP on this CPU. So I've now opened up the services as you can see here and I've stopped the Lenovo service. Now once that is stopped we're going to then go into throttle stop and we're going to undervolt the CPU. So we're clicking CPU core and we're undervolting it and then CPU cache and undervolting it. Uh, I've used a minus 100 uh, as my setting which is normally quite a safe bet so you can start there um, and play around with it a little bit till you get what you're comfortable with. I have had chips that go up to 140 but again this is you know every chip is different. Once we've done that you're going to apply it and we're going to change the power limits. Now again this is something for you to set because it will depend on the how hot your chip gets. On my P1 what I'm comfortable with for long term usage is 40 watts for long term and 50 watts for the short term boost. That gives me a really good mix of power and um, temperatures and fan noise. But everyone will be different, so you're going to need to tweak that a little bit. Now, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to run the th uh, Cinebench R20 again now that we've undervolted and taken that cap away. Now, if you remember, the scores I was getting before was between 1900 and 2000 for this run um, on either the review or at the beginning of this test. Now with this running with now the throttle stop, I've got it up to 2,538. Now that's throttle stop with the uh, removed um, Lenovo service for their um, throttling. I'm also going to run it again with uh, a GPU activated at the same time. Now before we disable the uh, Lenovo sort of thermal service, what it will basically do is when you're running the GPU and the CPU, the CPU will regularly throttle down to about 20 watts um, and sometimes right, between 20 and 30 watts. By doing this modification, what I've done is now my, my CPU will do a short term boost to 50 and then throttle to about 40 watts, uh, making it a much more effective system sort of for long term use. By doing this as well, I can run it all day at these temperatures and I'm still getting good CPU performance and good GPU performance without a crazy fan noise and without you know the laptop actually overheating. Now the temperatures do get up into the 90s still by doing this. Uh, again, if you wanted to reduce those temperatures, what you would need to do is either uh, reduce the, uh, the actual TDP or get another tool to increase the actual fan because the fan doesn't max out. What I plan on doing next is actually uh, repasting it and removing the tape from the bottom to see if that makes much of a difference. So we'll probably be doing another video on that shortly. Well, hopefully this video helps some fellow P1 and X1 users, X1 Extreme users, uh, to get a bit more from their system. So if you have any questions, please actually leave a uh, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer it and if you've got any other ideas also please feel free to share it because you know I'm by no means an expert on this this is just what I've done to improve my system so if you've got any other ideas or for anything else that you do please leave it below and I'll take a look at that too um, as I say I'm going to do a undervolt sorry I, I'm going to do a repaste uh, and a bit of uh, tweaking to the the insides in an upcoming video so if you're interested in that please subscribe and click the notifications and that video will be coming shortly. Thanks for watching.